Yes, dear. See you soon. Goodbye. Nancy, what are you doing here? Don't you think I should be asking you that question? I can explain, Nancy. But please, don't tell anyone that you found me here. If I get sent back to France, my fiancé will give up on me. And I will have let down my family again. What's your fiancé expecting you to accomplish by breaking into the Queen's Tower? I am doing this for my country and for my family's name. Isabelle has nothing to do with it. Except that I feel I must succeed before I will feel worthy to marry her. The tower holds a valuable French historical document. If I can find it and return it to France, perhaps I can make up for my failure at the Olympics. What makes you believe this French document still exists in a tower that was imported to Wisconsin 80-some years ago? The tower first belonged to the Chateau Rochemont in France. When Ezra Wickfield bought the tower, my great-grandfather was the master carpenter in charge of dismantling it and preparing it for shipment. One day, when he was working alone, he found a secret compartment in one of the walls. Then what happened? Inside, he found an old journal with a royal crest on the cover and a medallion with a strange blue stone in it. But he heard other carpenters coming, so he hid the medallion in his pocket and sealed the journal back in the compartment. Before he could get back to study the journal and return the medallion, the tower was dismantled and shipped to America. He never learned who the journal belonged to or what it said. Why didn't your great-grandfather tell anyone about his discovery? He thought if he told his story, Ezra Wickford might get angry, accuse him of interfering with the project, and try to ruin his name as a carpenter. So he kept quiet. So how do you know all of this? I was his only great-grandson. On his deathbed, he gave me the medallion and told me the whole story. He begged me to come here to Wisconsin to find the journal and return it to France. You must feel a real sense of responsibility to carry out your great-grandfather's dying wish. Oh yes, of course. But it's not just for my great-grandfather. It is for France. The journal bore a royal seal. It must have belonged to Marie Antoinette because she used to visit the tower during the revolution. So perhaps it contains her confessions, or perhaps it contains proof of her innocence. Either way, the contents of that journal could change French history forever. I just don't see how you can think that journal will still be up there after all these years. I know it's possible that someone found the secret compartment when the tower was being put back together, but I have to check anyway. I just have to know. Nancy, do you think you could help me? Let me show you this medallion and maybe you'll be able to tell me what it's for. I don't know, Jacques. You seem pretty desperate. Why should I believe that you're not the library vandal? Oh, Nancy, you must believe me. I would never try to destroy that beautiful library. After all, most of those books are French. Now will you help me? I think this medallion will interest you. And maybe you'll have some idea what it's for. It's in my locker. Uh, will you go get it while I take care of something? The combination is 2665. Six, I'll meet you in the locker room in a minute. Okay, Jacques. I am intrigued. I'll see you downstairs. Oh, you are the best, Nancy. Don't mention it.
Headache headquarters. Nancy here. Nancy, it's Jacques. Uh, what happened? Are you okay? I don't really know what happened. I opened your locker, like you said, and then it was lights out, Nancy. But you do have my medallion, right? They didn't find it when they picked me up off the floor? Oh, la la, you can't be serious. I'm sorry, Jacques. I know how important that medallion was to you. This is too much. Oh, la la. Unbelievable. Thanks for coming down. I've been wanting to talk to you. How's your head? Did you slip or what? Well, let's just say someone must be trying to tell me to get a little more rest on this vacation. Anyway, I'm planning on making a speedy recovery. It's just that when I found you out cold in the basement and hauled you back to your room, I noticed all this red dirt on your shoes. I'm just curious where it came from. Red dirt? Hmm, I guess it could have come from anywhere. I really don't know. I hope I didn't track it around the castle, though. Uh, did I? No, you didn't track it around the castle. Guess it's a mystery. But listen, I don't want to find you out cold on the floor again, so watch your step, Missy. Whatever it is, I'm sure you don't need my help. Mr. Egan, that red dirt you asked me about? It came from the tunnel that leads to the Queen's Tower. I should have told you in the first place, but I was afraid you'd be mad. I was wondering when you were going to come to your senses and fess up. Am I mad? Nope. If you must know, I'm impressed. Ezra Wickford set that secret door up so nobody would be able to find it. When I was a kid, I was obsessed with getting into that tower. Ezra told me that if I could get through the secret door, he'd take me up to see the Queen's Tower. Finally, I got into the tunnel, and when I came out with that red dirt all over me, he laughed. He was actually proud of me. So what was it like to go into the tower room? I'd say you earned the right to check out the tower for yourself. But you gotta get through that gate, right? There's an old skeleton key in the maintenance shed. Now that the storm's passed, you can go out and get it. But be careful. It's still dead cold out there. I don't want to press my luck with you, but I sure would like to see Ezra's private garden. Could you tell me how to find it? It's nothing but wasteland out there. If you're bent on tromping around in the cold, go left when you get outside, away from the shed. Look for a wrought iron gate. You'll figure out the rest. Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. Bye, kiddo. Ever find out what Hotchkiss lost? Not yet, but now that I'm her honorary research assistant, I'll be able to study her room. Hopefully, I'll pick up some clues in there while I'm brushing up on my French history. Teacher's pet, make sure to come tell me if your research turns up any dirt. I'll let you get back to your magazine. Stay warm. It's locked.
glad you came down to talk. Get this. I saw Dexter walking out to the maintenance shack with this, like, green ornament thing in his hand. He's up to something, right? Maybe you should check it out. If you're so interested, why don't you go check it out yourself? I'd love to, but I really should get to work on my article. I'll let you get back to your magazine. Later, Nancy.